One, two, one, two. Check it out. Check it out. We about to get into the Taurus reunion, the Taurus energy and all that. The Taurus cross watches. People want to know how Taurus is being allocated to your natal chart and your solar chart. You're all welcome. Thanks for being here. Welcome back. If this is your first time being here, I got crazy love for you and gratitude. I may cuss, but I don't curse. Let's get that situated first. Bars because I'm nice. What else? Pretty much. Oh, if you want to get in contact with me because you like what I do here, all right? Or you know someone else who wants to get in contact with me because they could benefit from what it is that I do here, then there will be either a link that pops up right here or there or a link that will be in the description box. Either way, you know what I'm saying? You can go there and look at my products and services. I could do a reading for you virtual conference face to face like we're doing right here you know what i mean you can set that up set an appointment up via the uh, calendar it's real simple real simple process trust me on the tech you know what i mean but i'll do the reading right in front of you whether it's a tarot card reading or the pools included you name it you know what i mean or we do an astrological reading as well so i'm not going to do a whole natal chart reading for you you know what i mean but i will um pick apart your chart a little bit you know and or like i said you know Look at the current planetary transits. See how they're impacting your life right now at the moment. You know what I'm saying? Maybe in a few days, a couple of weeks out. Stuff like that. But anyway, with that being said, let's get these cards right, Barbs. Three card drawing going to hold you long. This card right here represents the matter at hand for the Taurus energy. The Wheel of Fortune. This card right here represents how you feel about the situation. The knight in reverse. This card right here represents the fact that to consider regarding all of this. Ace of Swords in reverse. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. So the Wheel of Fortune is out here. That's good news. That means the wheels are turning. The wheels on the bus go round and round. That's what I picked up. That's what I picked up. Um... As a matter of fact, you might be taking a trip somewhere. You might actually be getting on a bus to take that trip. Something about nighttime is not cool. When I say not cool, I mean... What do I mean? I gotta look down to tell you what I mean. What do I mean by that? Well, I don't know. It's just like some nighttime activities that you got going on. The universe is not looking at that so, so well. Okay, so it's something. It's something along the lines of your diet. Something that you're consuming, that um, is interrupting with your Arcadian rhythms. Being you know, your internal clock that resonates with your body and that res resonates with the rest of the universe. Um, not everyone, how, how do I say this? Not everyone, some people could work well at night. You know what I mean? Some people, people like myself, for example, I was born on a full moon. So that's why it works well for me. But even I sometimes am subject to the Arcadian rhythms that I guess you could say the universe gave us in accordance with in accordance with it. So what I'm saying is this, right? Pay attention to the season because being that it's spring season, I'm getting that I'm getting that this is the best time to actually get up early in the morning. So you may be sleeping later than you may be sleeping late at night or go to sleep late at night and get up Maybe a little bit before noon or something. You take the kids to school, you come right back and you go back to sleep or something like that. And it's interfering with either your health. I'm not picking up that it's anything too hazardous, but if this is a routine, you don't, I'm seeing that you don't want that. All right. You don't need that, should I say. Hmm. 
you know, take this into consideration because every season, right, is about to be your season. But pay attention to the beginning of spring, right? The Aries time begins at 6 o'clock a.m. From 6 o'clock a.m. to 8 a.m. is Aries time. From 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. is Taurus time. So I think this is the hint, this is the signal that I'm being shown to reveal to you is that between the hours of 6 and 8 o'clock, you should be trying to get up every morning. If coffee is something that you're ingesting more than once a day, that might be a factor because, or if your cups are like mega large or something like that, that may be a factor because it's keeping you up with the jitters and hyper-focused longer than you need to be. It's something about the nighttime that's interfering with your well-being or interfering with possibly money too because a routine is better is better is better for you the wheel of fortune we got the fixed symbols on each corner you know what i mean those are all the fixed signs leo scorpio taurus aquarius the eagle is scorpio so if you get into a fixed routine this wheel of fortune is going to look great for you it's going to look fantastic for you as a wheel of fortune should good luck fortune is on the way the night card is upside down, facing the same way as the Wheel of Fortune is facing. And not for nothing, it's facing directly towards the lion. Leo energy might have something to, do, something to do with this. Do you have a Leo mate keeping you up at night? Expose? No, let me stop. I'm just keeping it a bean, though, you know what I mean? I'm just keeping it a bean because... The factor to consider here, if you don't get this, and it's it's really not that deep. This is a real surface level reading, if 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 I, if I may. Um, but it doesn't mean that it can't build up into a more of a situation. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't need to get that far. Um, what am I trying to say here? These swords. Where the swords at? So with this ace of swords in reverse, what I'm seeing here is that the factor to consider is if you, let's say you don't get this in under control, right? It's going to have you in a place of stagnancy. You're going to be stuck. You're going to be unable to move. It's going to block your... It's going to create a blockage for you, especially a communicative one. Um, you may also, again, overlook pain or ailments that your body is facing. I'm getting if you continue on this route, like I said, it has something to do with health. It's one of those things that can affect your health and you don't feel it. You have no symptoms. All right. Um, I'm also getting that you might be doing something at night that you're like you're stressed out or something that you have to do. Maybe it's a side gig or something like that. But what you're not realizing is that the stress is impacting you or the drive is impacting you. And it might be extra. It might be excessive. It might not even be doing as well as you want it to do. You might do better if you cut your losses when it comes to this thing. Um, and that's, that's if. Also, you might, yeah, someone is keeping you up at night. I don't know if it's through text messaging, if, if you, if you live alone, if you're single, or it's, it's your mate that has you up at night, but someone has you up at night. You know what else I'm picking up on? Someone you got, you got a thing for, or someone that got a thing for you. You think about them at night and it interrupts your sleep sometimes. You might even dream about them, but you're like back and forth with it. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, don't let this stack out of control. 